Hello and welcome to Punt Counter Punt, the pretend debate show for real magic cards. Today we should be on easy mode because Modern Horizons 2 is filled with cards that were specifically designed to be directly comparable to other cards. So I'm honestly extremely excited to see how Wheeler and Nelson are going to cock this up. I thought this was a game show. This isn't a dream sequence? Oh no. I'd like to apologize to both of you for the last several episodes. <laughs> That's okay. I, I'm ahead going into double jeopardy. Ah, starting strong. First up, lands. You're probably running at least a few, but which one is best? That's a complicated question, so we're not going to answer it here. Instead, Wheeler's going to talk about Zendikar's old marsh flats with the new border, and Nelson's going to counter with Modern Horizons' new marsh flats with the old border. Let's talk about the old one first. Well, let when me tell you about this the, new... I'm it's sorry. more of a state Wait, of Wheeler, mind, I think. But... I was supposed to go first because I have the old card. Well, I mean, Kathleen said the old card. Um, well, so... mine has the old border, so I'm probably supposed to go first, right? What What are you thinking here? Sure. Yeah, let's go with Age Before Beauty. Listen, kids. Wait, are you playing me? Marsh Flats is a powerful fetch land, not just because it can find the two best colors in magic, white and black, but because it was originally printed in Zendikar, a set from over two years ago, probably. And even though it features a newer border, the purists will agree that it is the correct call and the correct card to run. But let me tell you about the purist sect within the purists, the hyper purists. Only old borders allowed, no matter when they were printed. These are future shifted, quasi alternate dimension marsh flats that we're talking about. And you need to get them into your cube ASAP. Your uncle doesn't respect you. That kid in the corner thinks you only have new magic cards. Hit them with the new old border marsh flats, my friends. Original printing always comes first. Not only will the Zendikar printing of marsh flats get your uncle to respect you, but it will get the collective uncles of the world respecting you. The royal uncle, if you will. Look to the past and set your sights on the horizon of old borders. You don't need these new skinny borders. They're not for you. Get a nice thick border that you can put your hands around and put your marsh flats into play. And, hey, put it in your graveyard. Both are going to feel equally comfortable with that supple old border grip. I've never felt that horny over a magic card in my life, so I'm going to have to concede the point. Well, that was something, but what do you think? Why not write your opinions down on a piece of paper, fold it three times, and then bury it deep underground? In the spring, a beautiful flower will bloom, and it will have nothing to do with what we're talking about. Next up, Flame Tongue Kavu versus Flame Tongue Yearling. Does youth trump experience? And just how does an animal that explosive live long enough to have babies? Nelson isn't going to let anyone speak ill of his darling Flame Tongue Yearling, but Wheeler likes them old. Uh, mature. Nelson, please go ahead. All right, sit down, relax, and let me tell you a tale of Fire Imp. This is a weird old card from Portal. The border is nothing like that beautiful marsh flats we mentioned earlier, and the set simple is kind of just a circle. For some reason, the power and toughness have little swords and shield symbols on them in case you got bored and wanted to doodle on your magic card. Nevertheless, this card somehow found a home in cubes and decent Canadian Highlander decks over the years, and now finally, she's getting an upgrade. No longer do you need to fire imps at your opponent. You can confidently cast Flame Tongue Yearling, knowing that you only spent two mana to deal that two damage to your opponents. Whatever, probably a Birds of Paradise. I mean, sure, two damage can kill, what, an elf? A, a squirrel? A food token? <laughs> probably not. Uh, we're going to need four damage to take care of a real creature. You know, something with an actual rump, like a 3-3. Three, three. Not to mention Flame Tongue Kavu, with four power, is killing your opponent. It's just simply an upgrade. It's the better card. It's like a fine wine, truly. You know what's great at killing Flame Tongue Kavus? What? Yeah, I'll let you think about it for a second. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I can think about it. But while I'm doing that, I'm also actually playing my Flame Tongue Kavu and killing your Flame Tongue Yearling. Well, I'm going to play a second Flame Tongue Yearling and kill your Flame Tongue Kavu. I don't even need to pay multi kicker. Oh, that's interesting. Because in response to your uh, second Flame Tongue Yearling, I'm just going to momentary blink my Flame Tongue Kavu. Uh, how much mana have you got up? I'd like to daze that momentary blink. 
Okay, well, I am tapped out, but it seems as though you forgot to notice I have a force of will in hand, uh, as well as this additional blue card to pitch. Uh, I'll counter your days. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and exile this spell starter spray to cast a force of negation targeting your force of will. Okay, that's fine. Cool, cool, I guess. Um, Tell you what, I'm going to respond. I'm going to exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Cast Manamorphos. I'm going to cast a discontinuity uh, and it ends my turn okay in response i'd like to uh exile a dark ritual from my hand mm -hmm. and cast contagion okay targeting your flame tongue cabin okay that's interesting because i'm actually going to respond to that only one target okay only one target yeah okay oh, i thought so hmm. uh, i'm actually gonna i have another metamorphos in hand uh which i'm going to actually exile to cast bounty of the hunt targeting my flame tongue kavu the one you've targeted with contagion so actually i'm saving it and in fact i'm making it bigger because that's three counters and yours only puts two <sighs> You're going to make me say it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Does this discontinuity resolve or what? I've got to exile my third Flame Tongue Yearling to cast Pyrokinesis, oh, targeting your Flame Tongue Cavu in response. I'm out of cards. Whatever you've got left, it's fine. I only have I'm two cards. Hellbent. I only have two cards. And uh, guess what, Nelson? Those two cards, uh, I'm going to exile my own Flame Tongue Cavu in hand uh, to cast my copy of Pyrokinesis. And I'm going to kill your two Flame Tongue Yearlings in response. Ah, son of a... Okay, okay, great, great. Well, with that, the match is tied 1-1. So we're going to go to a special rapid-fire tiebreaker round. First up, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens. If you don't like making squirrels in this set, why did you buy the packs? Yeah, I'll cash in my storm payload, bud, and take all of my money down down to Goblin Town. Brainstone versus Brainstorm. Iconic one blue mana spells. Draw three cards and who cares about the rest of the text? They did brain surgery on an egg. Noble Hierarch versus Ignoble Hierarch. Finally, your mana dork has a relevant creature type. Oh, what stinks. Diamond Lion versus Lion's Eye Diamond. We're just going to beat down for two until we need to activate a powerful ability or maybe flash back a powerful spell from the graveyard. Diamond Lion? What the f***? Bottle Golems versus Bottle Gnomes. You ever look at your empty bottles and think, they're tired of this. Well, you're right. They're mad. And they want to take it all out on your opponent. Crack open one of these bad boys and suck down that gnome juice. Mox Tantalite versus Soul Talisman. Pass. Pass. Dam versus Asmorano Martica Dystina Kuldakar. More like Asmorano Martica Dystina Kuldakar. Carry her off to the morgue, bud. Okay, okay. I get it. Dam might be able to kill Asmorano Martica Dystina Kuldakar. But if you ask me, I think Asrana Mardika Dystina Kultakar is pretty damn cool. <laughs> Mono Skellion versus Tri Skellion. Tri means three. Mono means one. And Skellion means combo with various garbage to kill your opponent. There's not much more than that. Well, there you have it. It is all over. That was a match for the history books, or at least the Lure MTG YouTube channel. I've been your host, Kathleen. Nelson and Wheeler were having an argument. The score is nil to naught. This has been Punt Counterpunt. We have a YouTube channel? Where am I?